Hello, and welcome back to Project Frankenwagon. It has been a long time. I don't think there's been a single update since I finished this, finished it about three years ago. And um, yeah, I'm getting back to work on this thing. I'm fixing the rust. I uh, got a lot more done on the other side too, and I'll show you that. And I'm gonna start tidying up the interior and just finishing up everything that was left unfinished all this all this time because i'm getting ready to go on a road trip so i can't say much more without giving it away but there will be a second episode after this and yeah we're gonna do a road trip um in the past couple of years i've just been driving around town i did a little 400 mile short road trip i've been going to several car shows and just enjoying it and driving it Pretty uneventful. Um, still haven't really touched the engine except to change the oil. And yeah, let's fix some more rust. So I'll show you the work I've done and then um, what I'm working on now. Yeah, this was all super rusty just a few days ago. Everywhere that's clean metal, that used to be rust. This is what I'm still working on. This is this is what I call the boss level. It's when I say it for last. But I got it finished on the other side here. Yeah, that was rust and it was super nasty. And um now it's gone. This is what I just cut out. I cut out the entire headlight bucket and um, and then all the rust that was on top. And there was like all this body filler that was packed in here. Here's a big chunk of it. And uh, super, uh, super screwed up. I guess someone, you know, 20 or so years ago thought that was a good idea, but um, as you can see, not a good idea. So I'm gonna fix it the right way. And what I have here is a new headlight area for a uh, passenger side fender on a 66, 67 era squareback. And yeah, guess who sent this to me? Pat at Dream Wrench sent this to me about three years ago. Actually, it was the very start of the uh, COVID pandemic. I remember it was it was right when that was just kicking off. Super weird time. And um, he's like, yeah, I'll just mail this to you. And here it is three years later. I'm finally getting around to it. But I had to rewatch his video because in his video, he explained how to remove this dome that goes in here. And... Um, this patch here I had to use for the driver's side. That's why it's missing. But, um, yeah, so, uh, he had a really good video on how to remove this part. And I'll put that up on the screen now and link to it in the description. So check that out. He's already explained how to do it, so I won't explain how to do it. But it's good to remove it so that way when I weld this in, I'll cut out my section, I'll weld this in. 
then I could get behind it with the dolly and I could planish the welds with a hammer and dolly and that will um, keep it from warping or it'll, if it does warp I can straighten it back out and also with it removed I can clean off all the rust and uh, treat the rust and make sure it doesn't spread and have what happened to this happen. again pat dream wrench on youtube check it out oh my smoke my smoke alarm just went off <laughs> and i have a little problem though because it doesn't really fit look and the problem is that this fender is uh it's kind of warped and bent out of shape so let me show you what happens here there now it fits a little bit better so I'll try and get it tacked in here I'm have to get a little creative um, and we'll see how it goes Okay, I have it uh, welded in, not all the way yet, but most of the way. And you can see it looks pretty good, except right here there's a gap. I'm not sure how that happened. And you can kind of tell that it's twisted a little bit. And so this will be a perfect example of how planishing the welds when you're finished will correct any um, any warpage that the heat caused and so I'll use this hammer and dolly here's the dolly to uh, planish them and hopefully that will correct this how it's not aligned and when I'm done it'll be aligned Okay, that's about as good as I can get it, I think. Okay, I have, uh, have it finished up here, and I was actually able to get it pretty good. I cut off a little bit of that uh, scrap metal piece that Pat at uh, Dream Wrench sent me. And I fit it in there, and it welded up just fine. I got everything fitted up just fine. And I'm just uh, finishing welding it all in, and I'm going to grind it smooth now. And hopefully... The next question is, will the bucket fit? Will this fit into it? So let me finish up grinding it and then we'll find out. Alright, I finished it. It's really nice. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I did a pretty good job. And then I uh, put a bunch of enamel paint on the inside here so that it won't rust again in the future. Now the real question is, will this fit inside of it? And I honestly do not know. I haven't tested this out yet, but I suspect that it's going to be a tight fit. And so I brought a mallet over. So let's uh, let's find out here. All right, there we 
we go. And then this will just uh, go right on here like that. Okay, I just finished uh, painting the bare metal and um, well first I used some etching primer and then I used this primer and just so happened to be the exact perfect color to uh, match the patina on this car. And then um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use this clear to keep it protected and from rusting out if it was ever to hang out outside for a long time. And this is clear matte 2K, and it's the one where you have to puncture it and then mix it together really well. Um, so I'll just spray that on a little bit and see how that goes. Yeah, it's looking a million times better now that now that it's not rusty. In person, it really sucked having all that rust. In the photos, you couldn't tell as much. But, I mean, you saw all those rust holes in person, and you were just like, oh, it's a piece of crap. And, yeah, some of you might notice a wrecked leaf behind it. Well, that's for a future project. So, uh, subscribe and stay tuned, and you'll find out. All right, I'm about to touch up this, uh, these pinstripes here and um, repair them after I did all the body work around them. And I'm just going to use some Rust-Oleum oil-based enamel and some little brushes. We'll see how good I do. How hard can it be? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, you can see why uh, an amateur should not attempt pinstriping, but it looks acceptable, I think. It's just a little repair. Um, I didn't have the right pinstriping brush, you know, to do the long lines, so I was doing just super short lines, little bits at a time, and you can see the result. And, you know what, it's, it's fine, it's fine. The good news is the entire car is now 100% rust free. As always, thanks for watching guys. Now there's going to be a follow up video to this and that will be for the interior. Building the door panels and tidying up the interior. And then there's going to be a third video for the road trip. I did the road trip and I'm already back from it. And I can't wait for you guys to see that footage. So please subscribe and if you want to see those videos. Alright, thanks again. Take care.